Let's talk about best practices. What you want to do and how. You always want to have the glyphophobia as a default, right? We, we mentioned this before. Um, unless, of course, you want to reroll, but make sure this is set whenever you do something. Because when you upgrade, it also stays in the double the critical success. So this went from tier 1 to tier 5 right away. We were lucky here. Um, so this didn't cause any fortune potential here. You want to keep this as sort of your base one always, okay? Very simple. As I said, the Room of Discovery is great in the campaign. Later, not so much. We don't use this later, but going through the campaign or leveling your arts, this is a great addition. You want to have this. As I mentioned, the Rune of Removal, I would highly recommend you use this over the Shattering in most cases. So now I got my tier 5 shards back again. Actually, I used only 2 shards and gained 5 back, so that was a net plus for me. I mean, you have 500, it doesn't matter. Um, yes, also, together with the Glyph, you want to use this over the Shattering Rune. Because it's random. We want to minimize random outcomes as much as possible, right? And now a very gimmicky one. If you have an item that has three good affixes, but one sucks boss, and it doesn't, like, it's not exactly what you want at all. For example, we don't want to have the dodge rating because it sucks. We don't need it at all, okay? What most people will be doing is upgrade and reroll of the Rune of Glyph of Chaos. But this could be very bad. It could just suck, okay? So you're probably better off running the Glyph of Despair uh, okay, I can't do this here because this is already sealed. So let's, for example, go with this. Um, Glyph of Despair here. For example, which one do we not want? Hold Resistance. Again, this has a chance to seal the affix instead of upgrading it. And the great thing is, if you, for example, absolutely hate this affix, Rerolling it now would turn it into tier 5 and then it maybe sucks even more. Okay, so it's better to use the Glyph of Despair. We were unlucky here. Maybe you're luckier than I am. In this case, this would be sealed. But then you have an entirely new slot for yourself ready that you can use from tier 1 to tier 5 for something you actually want there. Okay, so that's the key thing. This is where the Glyph of, Gly Glyph. <laughs> Glyph of Despair, I think, is better then re-rolling because you gain like again you remove the random component as much as possible except for the chance of the glyph of despair happening but you have a much higher chance then to actually put on the affix or suffix you want all right that was it for the crafting that's a long video i know um, but there's so much to talk about with these things so much to go over um just check the chapters out below if you have any more questions about things let me know in the comments if something is still unclear you need still help with something um and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if it helped you. And I will see you in the next video where we talk about even more important things in this game.